Welcome back to the uh, Mount Smart Stadium here in Auckland, Australia. The athletes, the men and women who are going to compete have taken their seats. They're watching as the Maori warriors and women prepare for their traditional ceremony of welcome. Some music and dancing now, especially prepared. Representing all the tribes of Maoridom, the Waiata Haringa, the action song, reaffirms the massed Maori welcome, encouraging the distinguished visitors to bring goodwill and understanding with them. The Mihi Mahata, the lament for ancestors and friends of the Maoris and the visitors. New Zealand is about to celebrate its 150th birthday on February the 6th. This ritual and this coming together is very important. The poi balls, those rituals, explain that uh, the place has become a site where native and visitors have come together in peace and goodwill. And the song is to encourage the athletes to climb mountains and reach pinnacles. If they do that, then they'll emerge as champions. to Norman. The Maoris, the traditional Maoris in their language are Tangata Benoa. And the visitors, Maru Hihi. The front ranks from uh, right now form into a canoe pattern and they join calling all of us together, all the athletes and all the visitors, into the canoe of goodwill under the Treaty of Waitangi, which is the Treaty with the British 150 years ago. Lisa Curry, you're sitting there. This uh, song has been especially devised for you to make you uh, climb mountains or swim records. How do you feel? Well, actually, I've just got goosebumps when they started singing. It was a, it's a lovely tune, and to be sitting here with all the other athletes in another opening ceremony happened to me again and I was thinking back eight years ago and thinking of this is the Brisbane crowd and with the New Zealanders here it's just fantastic. It's a wonderful sight isn't it? It's great and uh, you know this is the first time that all the athletes have been able to see the opening ceremony. Usually we stand outside and watch, uh, wait outside but this time it's so great that the athletes are able to see everything that's going on here and uh, when we leave here we go back to the village and then good night's sleep and competition starts first thing in the morning. I was going to say that because normally there have been games where athletes have to had to stand and watch uh, whatever was happening. But in your case, you'd be especially grateful because uh, you're in the first heat of the events tomorrow. 
That's right, and some of the athletes have elected not to come tonight for the pure reason that they are competing tomorrow. But I find the buzz of the opening ceremony over overtakes that feeling. And being first up tomorrow and being able to sit down the whole time here takes nothing out of us whatsoever. So I'm really looking forward to a nice fast swim at um, 9 o'clock in the morning. Lisa, I should say that the hongi, which is of course the rubbing of noses, uh, the exchange of breath symbolising joining together of visitors and the home people, that uh, is going to occur fairly shortly after this, and uh, the Maori men and women are going to come across to the athletes and to some of the visitors, um, so here's your big chance. And rub noses with the Maori. <laughs> I tell you what, some of the Maoris have been running around this track, I think they did about a 5 or a 10k run during the opening ceremony. They look pretty pumped, so maybe a rub nose might be nice. <laughs> thanks, Lisa. We'll come back to you later. Okay, thanks. Sight. We've seen the uh, rugby union, the All Blacks appear, of course, Norman, but never seen anything quite like this. Yes, and tremendous support from the crowd. We have it's a, a great mass spectacle. I thought it was interesting.